Asus HD 770 versus GTX 1066 gig. Can you do anything with this? It's now the year 2020. It's July 15th. Welcome to Vulture Tech, guys. Let's see. All right, so if you're like me and the main things you do on your computer are 4K video editing and light gaming, I mean, I don't do any big gaming, do that on the console, just because it's easier for me. I don't know. I'm used to the controller. Don't judge. HD770. This came out in 2012, I believe. So it's eight years old. Comes with two gigabytes GDDR5 memory. The GTX GeForce 1066 gigabyte GDDR5 memory. Triple the memory. One has a really cool picture on the box. The other one says you can do VR with it. All right, so the criteria here. The rig that we're testing on is a Azor, Aorus 740 Ultra Gaming. It's running a Ryzen 7 2700X. We have 32 gigabytes of RAM. We have a 1000 watt EVGA power supply. The only things that are gonna change is the graphics card's gonna come out and the new one's gonna go in. We're going to run two tests, 4K video editing and then rendering the video using DaVinci Resolve. Second test will be playing CSGO using a 144 megahertz monitor. That means I can refresh at 144 frames per second. Can either of these guys refresh that fast? Now being Vulture Tech, you being a fellow Vulture, you got to get this or this at a reasonable price. We have to scavenge this stuff. Scavenge this stuff. That's the part of being a vulture. We gotta go out and we get it. So, did I do a good job? $20, I found this on the Facebook Marketplace and I had the gentleman seller deliver it to my house for $20. Asus HD770 for $20. Goodbye, can I do anything with it? No, 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 gotta wait for the videos. EVGA SSC GeForce GTX 1066 gig. Did I get a good buy here? $100 on this guy. I didn't get it delivered, but I only had to drive about 10 minutes away. $100 for this. $25 for this. Is this enough for what we need or do we need more? Is it overkill? Is this enough for what we need? Do we need more? Is this overkill? I don't think so. Let's go to the tape. Cord, so it's going to record. Testing, testicles, testing, testing, testicles. What happens? So 30%. When I hit this button, let's see. This is HD 770 graphics card trying to render 4K video. Let's see what happens. 20%. It's handling it. It's handling it. Oh, 94%. 93%, 94%. So the red number is the GPU, which is like this thing. Yeah. Does the graphics. The blue number is the CPU, the brain of the operation, like this guy over here. Um, this is the core clock, nothing we need. Memory usage, it's using 16%, but look. Oh, there it goes, it failed. There it is, failed, 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 it failed. skip to the end of this sweet rendering video but the gtx 1060 without a doubt and with no problem does that same video in four minutes four seconds yes csgo hd 770 the main just futzing around screen look we hit the 80s we can creep we tickle the 90s just creep in 80s 80s 90 we can hit 90 we dead creep just sitting on this thing when i'm futzing around now in game though what happens Ooh. Down to the 40s. We hover in the 40s. We go to the 50s. We peak out in the 60s. I don't know. Can you do this? Is this acceptable for you? The game itself plays, as you can see. But we are definitely playing 40s, 50s. I don't even know what's going on in this scene. But once the game actually starts and I stop flying out of the building, CSGO on a HD 770 is playable. I mean, look. There's the guys. Here we go.
boom, 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 shoot, shoot, boom, boom, shoot, shoot, boom, 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 boom. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it runs in the 40s, hits the 50s, hits the 60s. Um, it's doable. Yay. CSGO using the GTX 1060 just futzing around at the main character select screen. We can hit up to 120 frames a second hovering in the one teeners. Game starts. Wow, we're easily in the hundreds, 120, 130, 160. It's just creeping. Look, it's steady. It's beautiful. It's never going to dip out of the hundreds. We're hitting up 160. Now we're down 130. Now we're down to 110. We're in the hundreds all day long. CSGO GTX 1060. Interesting fact. We are not steady at 144 frames. This is a 144 frame monitor. We're not holding steady at 144 frames. Keep that in mind. I mean, if that matters, which maybe it does because we bought the monitor. Test results are in, boys and girls. What do you think? 4K video editing. You can put a bunch of 4K videos together, chop them up, hope DaVinci Resolve. <laughs> Just because I don't need it doesn't mean you don't need it. This can work. This is 2020. If you can beat $20 on one of these, and I don't want to hear blah, 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 blah. If you can do $20 on this, do it. And you don't need 4K, do it. If you want to practice CSGO on 40, 50, 60 frames, do it. This old girl can do it. Plus, you get to see the cool picture on the box. You want to be set up for July 2020, 4K video editing? Get yourself one of these. If you can beat $100 on this, go get it, my Vulture friends. Check out the other videos. You need to do any thermal paste application, just did a video there. We're going to have some builds soon. Hit that comment, the subscribe, the like button, whatever you want to do. Tell a friend. Join me for our next adventure. GTX 1060 dominates in HD 777 70s. Whatever you stick as many sevens on this box as you want. You've been dominated by a smaller number. Yeah. 1060 dominates a 1777. You got it. End the video. It's over. Get this if you want to do 4K. Get this if you want to do 1080. Still usable. Still fine. You can do it. See you later.
super duper double bonus. You got that benchmark stuff that I didn't even include. Now it's included. As you can see, the GTX dominates, but we knew that. Super bonus. Change the shirt. Had one more thing to say. You might be going, Josh, why in the world would you be talking about an HD 770 made in 2012 in the year 2020, halfway through 2020? We've seen what it can do. What's coming out in a few months? PlayStation 5? Xbox X? We're going to have all these teraflops. How many flops are we getting with the Xbox X? Are we getting 12 teraflops or something like that? 12 teraflops, they're claiming. PlayStation 5, 10.2 teraflops. Rumors that there might be a 13.3 Super PlayStation 5 to come out and trump the X. Teraflops. It's a fancy word going around right now. And I just want you to have some perspective. An HD 7770. Take a guess. Comment down below. Let's pull it up right here. As you can see, it was 2012 when it came out, right? And a website over here claims our HD 770 has 1.28 teraflops. You might say Xbox is coming out with 12 teraflops. Are you kidding me? 1.28? Wait a second now. If you don't have the newest Xbox One X, if you don't have the newest PlayStation Pro, guess what? That means you're gaming maybe on the original PlayStation 4 or the original Xbox One. And maybe you can see these dots are coming in connection. PlayStation 4, Xbox One came out November 2013. My HD 770 came out February 2012. And you've guessed it. They're all in the same ballpark teraflop range. As you can see, I'll pull it up right now. Xbox One had 1.31 teraflops. The PlayStation 4 has 1.8 teraflops. And our HD 770 has 1 1.8, 1.28 teraflops. Nearly right there on the tails of an Xbox One, the original. Within striking distance of the original PlayStation 4. You're still playing those, aren't you? And you're not whining about that, are you? HD 7770. Teraflops. Think on that one, boys. Perspective and girls. Go be a vulture. See ya.